my name is Kim. I want to talk with you about your A1C test. An A1C test is an average of your blood sugar levels in your body over a two to three month period. Your doctor usually recommends that test be taken two to four times a year. What you can do also in addition to your A1C testing is as you're taking your blood glucose levels with your own monitor on a daily basis, that will kind of give you an average of what you're going to have in two to three months. American Diabetes Association recommend that it remains under 7%. A lot of times it may not be under 7%, but you just keep working on it. Um, a lot of things fall into play for you to get your blood sugar level under 7%. Again, it would be the ABCs of diabetes, what's it called, is the A1C test, your blood pressure, and your cholesterol levels. So a lot changes um, with diabetes, so don't think that you're doing something wrong because you haven't gotten that under the 7% threshold. Again, diabetes is a progressive disease, so your medication would have to be changed sometimes, or your exercise, or your diet plan. It's just always a combination of something going on to keep your blood, your, excuse me, your diabetes under control. Also, I want to talk with you about the hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is when your blood sugar is low and you do not want it to go below 70. Some doctors don't want it to go below 80 because you can go into a coma and that can lead to death. Not mean to scare you, but it's the truth. It can lead to serious issues, and one is called a diabetic coma. So you, that's one reason you need to keep a record and keep up with your blood sugar levels also. Hypoglycemia, also there are ways to bring it back up if it does start falling below those levels. I mentioned before about exercising. When you exercise, you must check your blood sugar level because if you're already at 80 or 90 and you're exercising your blood sugar level will drop so you need to take some type of carbohydrate some type of food and that will increase your blood sugar level back up so always check your blood sugar level and especially if you're lifting weights and everything lifting weights again is kind of you have to keep be cautious of that because it is weight, lifting with weights does increase your blood pressure also. I am learning all this on, again on my own, so I'm not a doctor, and you can read up on this as, as I do, and you can read up on this too, back, back up what I'm reading and what your doctor is saying. Always try to read for yourself also. Uh, my videos are for information purposes only. I'm not trying to offer medical advice. Again, always check with your doctor regarding anything that you've read or heard because they are the medical doctor and you need to check with them. But on my reading, that is what I have discovered is that weightlifting is a factor that you need to watch when you have blood pressure issues also. But with a low blood sugar, I have this chart that I've gotten from a website and it gives me all the, I you know, notifications or signs that you're having low blood sugar. It's a cute little sign. It's kind of, you know, just a little cartoons, but it's really neat. And it gives you little pictures of what also would be signs of low blood sugar. I received this from, let's see here, Changing Life with Diabetes. I'll try to remember to leave the link down below my video after I finish it also. Um, so it gives you an idea of what you need to do. I'll tell you what happens when your blood sugar is low. It's saying you're shaky, a fast heartbeat, sweaty, dizzy or shaky, anxious, hungry, blurry vision, weak or tired, headache, nervous or upset. Well, that's kind of me on a daily basis without diabetes. But anyway, those are signs that you'll need to be aware of as far as your low sugar. And what you do is when you have low sugar, you check it right away. If you can't treat anyway, that's what this uh, notice is telling me also. You treat it by eating or drinking something sugary, such as four ounces of, of regular fruit juice, orange juice, apple, or grape, or, or any kind of fruit juice. Four ounces of regular soda, not diet, or three glucose tablets, or five to six hard candies that you can chew quickly, such as mints. 
you wait 15 minutes and you check your sugar again and it should go back up and you're okay. If it's not, then you can go ahead and repeat that again and uh, drink something sugary again. Once your blood sugar returns to normal, eat a meal or snack that can help keep low blood sugar from coming back. So again, you would do something, you know, take a mint or something like that and chew on it or some juice. Wait 15 minutes and check your sugar again. That's why it's important that you have a blood glucose monitor and test strips and lancets to check your blood sugar. As far as the high blood sugar, which is called hyperglycemia, that is where it's too much sugar in your system. And that's called high blood sugar, which can lead to a dangerous condition called ketoacidosis. In severe cases, it can lead to dehydration and coma. The possible cause of hyperglycemia is an inadequate treatment plan for diabetes, being sick, being under stress, taking certain medicines such as steroids, eating too much food, especially carbs, being less active than usual, and not taking enough diabetic medicine. Symptoms of hyperglycemia is thirst, frequent need to urinate, feeling tired, nausea and vomiting, itchy dry skin, blurry vision, fast breathing and breath that smells fruity, weakness, dizziness, womb or skin infections that don't heal, unexplained weight loss if hyperglycemia lasts for more than a few days. What you should do, make sure you do the following, check your blood sugar. Again, it's always going back to keeping a track of your blood sugar. You also will need to drink plenty of sugar-free, caffeine-free liquids, such as water. Don't drink fruit ju juice when you have hyperglycemia. Hypo is low, hyper is high. Check your blood or urine for ketones as directed. Call your health care provider. A way of preventing high blood sugar is to control your stress. When you're ill, follow your sick day plan, follow your meal plan, eat only the amount of food on your meal plans, follow your exercise plan, take your insulin or diabetes medicine as directed by your healthcare team. My shirt today is designed by my friend Otissa, keeping it tight, transform, inspire, thrive, empower. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I would appreciate it. Keep it moving. Thank uh you. -huh.